flies, eh, boy? I know. I know, buddy. <laughs> Get him. Get him. <laughs> You're a good boy. I love you. I love you. I love you, crazy goofball. Bogging up my lens. Get those black flies. Get those black flies. Get them. I know. Believe me, I know. I know. <laughs> They're all up here on the exposed rock. Super late in the year for black flies, but that's how they are. Up, up north here, they're uh, in the dry, arid spots later on in the year, which is weird because uh, they breed in moving water. <laughs> they're killing them. <laughs> Anyways, we got to get out of here. There's uh, supposed to be a campsite. This is Bear Mountain. There's supposed to be a campsite up here, not, not too far. So we'll go check it out. The thing is, I'm like halfway down the trail, and if I camp here, then tomorrow I have like half the trail to do still and if I go all the way I camp near the takeout but it's on a bigger lake and it might be but there might be some people there so I'd rather camp back in here in these back lakes but we'll see we'll see how it is we'll see how the camp if the camp's super nice I have an option of two different ones if the camps are super nice I'll probably just stay because uh, I do want to have some time at camp and to get firewood for my my steak and the whole nine yards so set up my tarp all that the, there's an advantage with the tarp you know you can do a lot of different configurations, but the different disadvantages at a camp on designated campsites are sometimes there's just not flat ground for a tarp with trees to tie it off to. But we'll figure it out, no problem, and uh, that's part of the fun. What are you saying, Trip? You want to get going? Freaking black flies in almost October. Sweet, I found some Labrador tea. Yep, so I'm gonna grab some of this in case it's not around where I camp, so I can make up some tea in case I'm cold and wet tonight, which is a good possibility. My feet are drenched already. Sweet. You know what? I'm gonna probably just do one of these. Stay here, stay. Stay, it's nothing you want, man. Got a survival blanket in there as well. It'll taste a little doggy. I'll boil it up, it'll be fine. A little extra, I drop some. Nice, that's a score. Okay. Bam, son. Good boy. Sherpa. Sherpa dog! What's this? Am I a good boy? Yeah, let's go. This is all lab tea here. It's like, oh, nice. Look at the trail goes up here. Oh, <laughs> oh. Up here, buddy. I love that call. Chickadee dee dee dee. Ch love it. Chickadee dee 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 dee. It's hard to tell on camera, I know, but we are descending like crazy. Trevor's jumping over logs, going downhill at a steep angle. Pretty pretty agile. His his paw is holding up great. I'm really really impressed. Really starting to. Uh, Enjoy having this dog. Starting to trust him and stuff. Hey, see what I mean? Like he was just here waiting for me. He's going now because he can see me, but like just on the side of this little. Look at how freaking steep this. We're like doing these switchbacks. Look at this. This is steep. This is steep. All right, buddy. Let's go. This way, bud. Come on. <laughs> Goofball. Man, maybe he's got the right path. Holy smokes. 
Okay, well, to say that this is a trail would be a far stretch. I'm having to find my way marker to marker, which I don't mind. It's nice. Just a heads up. But, um, yeah, I'm back on it now. Uh, beautiful, beautiful spot and very seldom used. It's easy to tell it's very seldom used. Which is a shame, really. Oh, I see a camping sign. Hello, the camp! Coming through with the dog! Hello! Look at that little patch of sun right there. Pointing right towards the freaking trail to go in, the, in the, uh, the, the camping spot. Wow, talk about overgrown. Oh my goodness. This is not a trail. Look, there's like a year old trees in the middle of it. I guess I don't have to worry about anyone being here. Look at this, there's nothing. There's not a trail to be found. That's crazy. Okay, I think I see something up here. But certainly off trail if there is one. Oh yeah, this is it. It's a fire ring here. Pretty calm, not too windy. Oh, look at the firewood stacks. Stacks for days, bro. Certainly a nice spot. It's not too late in the day, it's only just afternoon. We'll see. We'll look at the map and decide what we're gonna do here. Water though. Come here, Trevor. Come here. Come. Get that backpack off you. Water for sure. Here, out. Back, back, back. Good boy. So this is a pretty nice campsite on a really nice lake. You get to see, that's where I came down off of. Up there is the lookout on that rock. You can see some, you can see someone had a fire here off the water. Trevor, stay out of the water, buddy. And the camp itself is pretty decent too. Very big, spacious, lots of places for a tarp. But, old Joe is not content. It's, I thought it was afternoon, it's not. It's only noon now. My watch is still all messed up. So, Trevor, man, give it a break. You rest. Um, let me show you the map and my plan. So here's my dilemma. I started here, right here, and today I've hiked up there, I took this little detour here and came back and hiked up here, hiked here, and I'm here at this camp here on Lower Brush, right there. Okay, so the next camp is just right, uh, right there on Upper Brush, not too far away. And then there's no camp, there's some points of interest, but no camps. This is the biggest stretch with no campsites from here all the way down to here. And this is like big, big section, you know what I mean? Like, probably. Almost as big as I just hiked, so. I don't want to stop here because it's too early. If I get to here, which I imagine will be like less than an hour, if I get there and it's um, really, really spectacular. Then I'll certainly consider camping there. But if not, I'm gonna keep hiking and go down all the way down to the Semi White Lake Trail camp. So that would mean going 
So that would mean going from there all the way down and camping there. Okay. Then I'll be just that jaunt out, but but as it is now, it's again it's noon, I believe. Yes, just getting to be noon, and uh, I'm not ready to stop. And this will be a good test for Tripper for his his abilities and and how much he can endure and stuff like that. So on we go. Well, we might do this full full loop today, which they suggested not to do. <laughs> Come on. Put your head in, right here. You know what I want. You know what I want you to do, bro? Good boy. We a good boy, drummer. I should have named you Digger. Because you dig a lot. <laughs> trip me a lot, too, though. And you're a trip. And you trip me out. And you're my canoe trimming partner, hopefully. Oyster General. All right. Let's go. Maybe I just came in on the wrong way, but the sign said it was that way. That's a. It's another big, real big white pine. All right, back on the trail. Trail. This way. Smiley face. Cut logs. This way. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word for it. A nice spot in here. We're running stream here. Big old cliff. Leaves falling. Moss on the rocks. A doggo. Eating leaves. Sun's shining. What a nice day. <laughs> Beauty. Woodland Critter Christmas! What's that, buddy? It's a big old white pine, eh? Big old white pine. What do you smell? What is it? Hey, no, no, let's not dig in there. Something might live there, buddy. I don't want to disturb anything. This <laughs> is straight right up in the tree. Go in, go in. Okay. <clears throat> For real, though, that's a huge. Huge tree. One of the biggest white pine I've ever seen. Oh man. Beauty. Beauty. Come on, Trip. Stay in the water a little bit now. Get a drink. Get a drink. Don't get soaked. This is nice, man. Real nice.
Hello, the camp. I have a dog. I have a dog. He's dog bark bark. No, I hope nobody's here. Oh wow, look in the sun. In the sun. I feel as one. This is nice. So that took me through about 48 minutes to get there. I thought it would be about an hour. About 48 minutes, just just roughly 48. I'm not staying here, look at this place. I'm not staying here with the dog. We got swamp on either side. I'm in a, uh, a tarp with him. High chance of moose coming through here. And it's small. I kind of probably already made my mind up before I even got here that I keep going. I just got to sit down and look at the map again, but I'm more than likely going to go for the long haul, Joe style. All right, we consulted the map. Hey, Tripper, what do you think? Sco? Sco. Yeah, I don't want to camp here, and I don't want to stop yet. So we're on for the long haul. It took me almost seven, no, six hours to get here. I started at seven, and it's... 12:40, so 8 9 10 11 12 1 so almost six hours to get here i stopped for lunch a couple times i was i got lost on the trail a couple times pick, picking my way through and there's big contours i'm looking there's not that many big contours coming up there's a couple lookouts so there will be biggish but not as big as i hit hopefully and if and i did more than i have to do so if i can it gets dark around seven and it's one now so if i can do this in five hours i'll be there by six and I'll have plenty of light, but I gotta hustle. I gotta hustle big time. And if it gets dark before then, I'll just have to camp on the trail somewhere, which is whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna fill up on water right now because there's, well, I'm away from all the lakes now for the long haul. I'm gonna chug a bunch and then fill it up and then we'll get out of here. Well, I think I'm off trail again. It's getting hard to follow. Look, check this out. A squirrel stashed a mushroom in the tree for drying purposes. But Tripper, where's the, the trail, dude? Where's the trail, though? I need to retrace my steps and find some kind of marker because it's been a long time since I saw one, and this trail is funky. So, all right, this looks like something. This looks like a trail. Perfect. On a marker. All right. It's windy. Slow, slow. Slow. Whoa, that's a drop off. Holy smokes. Wow. He knows. Look at him, he knows. Good boy. Okay. Well, buddy, as pretty as this is, we gotta go. Be careful, bud. Look at that. That's a drop. Hey, relax. Why not? Stay there. Stay. Stay. Wow. I'm even nervous just putting my camera down there. Stay there, big guy. Oh, that wind. Stay. Well, this is pretty epic, guys. Pretty, pretty epic. All right. On we go. Over the gap. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Trip. Huh. Just beauty. Just beauty, guys. Super happy to be able to experience this with the dog. This is the right time of year. Trip. 
Oh, good boy. Oh, this is pretty in here. I stop for a snack and a little bit of water, and this guy just lays down next to my pack. You know he's tired. Hey, buddy. You know he's tired. Good boy. He's out. Well, up and at him, dude. We're going. Sorry about your luck. Let's go. Laying in moose poop. Just laying in moose poop. Come on. Good boy. Well, I'm in the farthest back part you can be. And I come across a sweater, I believe. So that tells me I'm still on the trail at least. Leave it alone, bud. Uh, or unless that person got lost and is no longer with us. <laughs> but uh, I don't know where the heck the trail might be. I'm happy to find that sweater, I think. But uh, as far as the trail, I'm at a loss, which isn't uncommon. This keeps happening. Like this part of the trail is super, uh, I guess, remote. Nobody's coming out back in here. The trail's grown over a lot, and there's lots of trees falling over I'm having a hard time keeping on track but uh, we always seem to find it like there it is right there there it is right there we always seem to find it anyways we're still going strong we're making good time feeling good let's go So much land, so much wilderness out here. Look at that, down on the ground, way down there, jack pine, black spruce, way up there, forest and forest of maple, birch. Look at this guy. Man, this is an awesome experience, guys, I'm not joking. You good boy? Hey? He's tired. What a life for a dog. Good boy. You're a good boy. Wow. And it was so yellow. This is freaking gorgeous. Oh my. I can't believe this. This is so pretty. Man, this is awesome. Stroke the fuzzy tree. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that. Wild. Damn nature. Wow. Good boy, go. He's getting tired. He doesn't want to jump over these things anymore. Go on, bud. Go. Nice jump, bud. Nice jump. You cleared this whole thing. <laughs> like a fox. I haven't seen a trail marker in a while, but it looks like I'm on the trail. Like it's wore down. It is a trail. So I'm just hoping that that's good enough. Good boy, good boy. Drink your fill, buddy. Good dog. Go on. I know, buddy. Go. Okay, come on. Good boy. Oh, man. You're getting tired, aren't you, big guy? I know. You can go around if you want. Go around. Go that way around. Okay, come on over this. Come on. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Well, we may be lost. Not lost, lost, but I don't know where the heck the trail is. There hasn't been any markers in a long time. 
pull up the GPS on my phone, I'm like where I think I am on the, on the map and it makes sense. I just, I'm glad, I, I thought I was following a little moose trail because there was no markers. It's weird because I'm getting back to close to civilization, Clo pretty close actually, like maybe three clicks out or something, and there's no markers that going this way, and I'm sure some people would hike it the other way. So it makes no sense, this is the most remote part it feels like, anyways. Um, stopping for jerky, we're going to keep going, I think we're making good time, it's 2.10. If I can get back in three hours or less, that'd be sweet, and I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, Tripper. And not 10 minutes later, here is the first sign I've seen in probably over an hour. So that's a good bonus, especially because I would have went that way. Well, what way do I go? This sign is telling me to go that way. What the heck? This looks... Okay, well, we'll go this way and see if there's another sign. Time to drink the last of my danky water. Oh, we gotta be getting close, Tripper. We're making some good time now. It's not too steep. It's relatively flat. But we're both tired. He's drinking out of puddles and stuff. I'm not too worried about him. in the way of water. Um, yeah, he's starting to go around logs and wait for me to push brush away from him and stuff. I said just like 110% barreling over it. So I can definitely see he's tired. I'm tired too. Uh, can't get, can't wait to get to camp. 2.30, 2.30. I think I'm gonna be there by like four at the latest. I think I'm making really good time now. I, I could be way off, the, 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 the map could be way off and I could be way off, but I'm hoping for another hour and a half or something. Good boy. I'm gonna give him his food now because uh, I'll share my steak with them once we get to camp. I think he needs energy. I ended up putting his bowl in my backpack on accident last time. I'll just feed him. Good boy. You should chew that. You're a good boy. Here. Good boy. Three oh six. We're approaching the campsite. Tripper, we crushed this trail, bro. We crushed this. Let's go see how she is. Go on this way, buddy. We absolutely crushed this trail, dude. Good job. Well, not great. Not great for a ground dweller with all these rocks here. Hmm. Dog is literally laying in rocks. You know what I'm gonna do? Made an executive decision. I think I'm going to hike the extra like hour out of here, maybe hour and a half, and go just go drive up to some piece of land with the dog and camp out tonight. Get out of here completely. Go find some flat ground, some somewhere comfortable to, to have a fire to relax. Spend some time with the dog. Cook up that steak. I did this whole trail. I'm fine with. The, I just really hate this campsite. Like literally, it's no, it's the worst one. And. uh I can get back to my car maybe within an hour and a half. So if I do that, it's 3.30 now. If I get there by, or no, sorry, it's 3.15. If I get back to my car, say it's 4.30, I can drive somewhere within 10 minutes, still by five, have time to set up firewood. That's plenty of time. That's a big, big, big day. I started at seven today. So seven, I'll be out of here by four. You know what I mean? That's a lot. I can't do the math right now, like nine hours or something like that.
something like that. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're still gonna camp. We're still gonna uh, cook up that steak and everything. I just don't want to do it here. This is basically inhospitable. I didn't bring a small. I would have had to bring a two-man tent, which would have been heavier than the tarp. Uh, for the dog and I, the single man would have been fine for me, but that was my rationale. Anyways, we're gonna go. This dog is KO. So last night, Tripper and I camped out at some Crown Land as well. Uh, we'll go to a different place than tonight, but in preparation for this trip, so I didn't have to drive the full two and a half hours or whatever, we camped out last night in a relative area. So. I have a tent in there, I have a wool blanket, I have uh, other stuff for Tripper so we can be nice and comfortable tonight. So in all reality, I could have done this whole trip without this big backpack on my back, but that's okay. I had no idea that I was gonna come all the way, do the full loop, and uh, it's good. It's good to practice and train and gain some muscles on my little weak little back. So it's good for Tripper too. But uh, I am, couldn't lie if I wasn't telling you. I can't lie. I would be lying if I would if I were to tell you. There we go. Fool me once. Anyways, I'm looking forward to a comfortable sleep tonight with all the, those amenities. A tent and a wool blanket. You know, in all honesty, I wouldn't have wanted to take any longer to do this. Like, I, I could have camped out tonight for sure here, but um, like there was no real reasons to take any longer. I took as long as I wanted at the beginning. Didn't feel rushed. Had all those lookout points, points of interest. Stopped, chilled out, and checked out. I went on that side trail even, checked out all the campsites here. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't have wanted to stop before, I don't know, three at the very earliest. And it's just after three now, so not too shabby. It's just how it is, it's how it is. When Doug and I went backpacking before, a bunch of times, just crush it. It's like, what's the point of sitting around? I don't have luxuries in my bag. I don't have a, like a hammock and a book and things like that. I'm backpacking. I'm just bare minimum. So it's like you get there, you set up, just kind of lay on the ground, wait for dark or whatever, which I don't really need to do. I can do that at home. So I'm out here to hike. It's a friggin' hike, bud. You can tell I'm getting close to the end here. Look at this. It's almost like a paved highway for me. Totally different than before. I was trying to even look for signs of the trail when I was on it, or even finding it at all. Getting there. Okay, we're getting near the end here. Put the leash on him. I'm so ready to be done. Oh, I can see my truck. I can see my truck. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, there she is. Oh. I'm pooched, man. 409. 8, 9, 10, 12, 9 hours and 10 minutes. We crushed that tripper. Up. Good boy. Oh. Well, my feet have seen better days. We got camp set up. I'm gonna give Tripper a steak. I'm gonna cut it up and give it to Tripper. I'm not even hungry for it. I snacked hard on some jerky. I still have a sandwich I can make too if I need it, but uh, yeah, Tripper deserves that steak. Don't go in that water. Hey, prick, right in. Anyways, let's go down here, check this out. Wow, this is a pretty lake. No, come, get out of the water. I'm gonna go in my tent and get everything wet, man. What you thinking, bro? What you thinking, bro? You hungry? So look at this, I can just pull up here with my car, right behind where I am, right here. I have this beautiful lake, all to myself. 
a good jumping rock over there for the kiddo in the summertime. Stay out of the water, man. Anyway, it's a pretty lake. Out of the water. Oh, Come on. Let's go get you a steak, okay? Ooh, you have no idea how happy you're about to be. Steak, steak, steak. Tripper gets a steak. It rained all night last night when we were sleeping in this tent. And it, uh, it's still soaking wet from that, just being in my truck all day. Soaked. Soaked, bud. That's a, a big Agnes something or other two-man tent. It's a decent tent. Holds up in the rain. I can tell it a test for that. Look at that. The rain makes it stick to it. So, hey, 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 hey. Watch what you're doing, bro. You want a steak? Stay. We made this little pallet table here. Oh, nice. Oh, you know what? That wouldn't even have been any good. No good for human consumption, I don't think. Hmm. Got a little bit too warm, I guess. Just wait, man. Just wait. Hey, hey, hey. Relax. I'll give it. I'll give it to you. Just I'm gonna cut it up a little bit for you. Trippy on me, trippy on me. Good boy. You're not going to eat it. You're not going to eat it. That's what I thought. Your dog. <laughs> okay then. Okay, so apparently I have a, a silly dog who won't eat raw steak. Um, that's really weird. Anyways, I've collected a bunch of stuff for fire. So, so I can cook the steak for my dog. Uh, that's what we're going to do. Hopefully that's sufficient, you know? Hopefully that, that amount of fire is sufficient. And the, one of the good things about camping on a Crowland site, choose what grill you like. Choose one. Making you better feeling. Okay. Dogs would gobble this up in a heartbeat. And frickin' Tripper needs Chef Joe. Chef Joe to hook him up, eh? Well, that's what you need it. Oh, he ate. No, he didn't. He didn't. Psych, psych, psych. Super psych. You say I never did nothing for you, Tripper. I wonder if we'll eat one. Here, come here. You want one of these? <laughs> okay. Well, you're okay with you're okay with medium then. All right, let's try this again. Too hot. Smoke here, come on, come on. There, good boy. Why is it so difficult, man? You're a silly dog, you know that. Anyways, hope you enjoy, buddy. 
Oh, that's good. I'm glad he ate that. I'm going to throw all my stuff in my tent and get on in there and take it take it easy. It's 7 o'clock now, so another couple hours and I'll be asleep. All right, in the tent, nice and comfy. The wool blanket down for Tripper. And here is his top quilt by UGQ Outdoors. We'll open that up, get it nice and comfy for him. Do it, mostly for me. All right, top quilt, wool blanket. Let's call the dog dog. Trip, come. Tripper, come. Huh. Good boy, lay down. <laughs> hey buddy, there you are. Well, do you have a good day today, big guy? Do you have a good day? You're plum tuckered, aren't you? Hey, plum tuckered. That's your blanket, you know that. Hey, good boy. Yeah, that's my buddy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Oh yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. Good boy. This is the calmest you guys have ever seen, Tripper. Hey, bud. Good boy. <laughs> UGQ all around. Super comfy in here. I hear him snoring. It's a good feeling having worn him out. Experienced that whole day with him. Last night camping, camping today. My good boy. <laughs> check, check. <sighs> One in the morning now. Dog is sawing logs. <sighs> Back to bed I go. Hey Tripper, where are you buddy? Hey Tripper, where'd you go? Hi bud, you have a good sleep? Hi buddy. Crazy boy. 5.15, I'm super awake now. Oh Tripper boy. No time to get up and out of here. If I get home quick enough, I can see my kiddo off to school. That's what we'll try to do. Can you take me to the bus stop? Yes, I can. Hi, Tripper. Go and go to the zoo. You going to the zoo? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Daddy. You're home early. Hi, baby. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot to shut the doors last night. Yeah? <laughs> Does it still smell like scum? It's really bad. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go, Emmy. All right. Let's go. Here, this is happy. <laughs> Tell your dad what we got in the house. We have pet monitor caterpillars. How and you? chrysalis. Oh, yeah. From where? The lady down the street that I see walking with the Arendelle uh -huh. called me last night and they're going back home and she can't take them with her to 10 hour drive. And so she asked me if I wanted them all so we could raise them. Wow. So we're raising them. Okay, come on, Autumn. I'm about go. to hatch and I hope I'm at school when it hatches. Oh, yeah? What are you doing? Hey? What are you doing? Autumn, are you walking in the puddle? Yeah. So you're walking in the puddle. <laughs> but 
Say it though. Say, I'm walking in the puddle. I'm walking in the puddle. Oh, good job. <laughs> good job, baby. <laughs> Let me puddles. hold your hand. Yeah. Oh, there's more puddles up here. <laughs> 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 Well, that was all worth it. Super happy I was able to get home in time to see Emmy off to school. Had a great time. Me and Tripper crushed that trail. Uh, I was reading on the map. It said they didn't recommend to do it. Do it in even one night. They said two or three nights, basically. And me and Tripper <laughs> freaking squashed it in, in a day. So very happy. All right, guys. We'll be getting back to uh, some bushcraft videos very soon. Oh, it still smells like a skunk in here. Um, Darn it. Yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll be back very soon. Goodbye.